Nancy Wanger has owned and run the Nutty Chocolatier for almost 20 years. She says it's been a labor of love and hard work to get her business running all year around. Wanger is just one of many residents who are not happy with Huntsville Council's decision to allow an ice cream truck in town over the summer. It's very romantic for a little truck to come into town and stop here and stop there to uh, sell his wares. But he's going to come in in the prime time of the season and then he's going to disappear in the fall. He's not a team player, that's how I see it. A team player opens their doors every day. They, they um, are committed to how the downtown looks and the parks look and, and that's what a business owner who has a structure in the downtown, bricks and mortar structure, that's what they do. They, they clean their streets, they employ their local students, they donate endlessly to uh, the community. Wenger also believes having too much of one product in a community is not good for business. How many ice cream places do we really need in the town of Huntsville? You can't over supply a product or it's no good. It, it devalues the product. Shelly Westgarth is the owner of Belly Ice Cream Company and knows what it's like to be on the other side of this issue when she was the new game in town a few years ago. Unlike Wanger, Westgarth believes competition is good for business and that municipalities have to be careful when making decisions like this. Well, I think you're getting into a very slippery slope when you start allowing government to choose which businesses are allowed to be in business and which are not. Uh, we had you know, we were very controversial when we first started because we were taking business away from established local businesses. But with that said, since then we've gone, we've grown, we employ people, we had property taxes. So there's a lot to be said for supporting new business, whether it's, you know, a friend of yours or not. So um, I would say predominantly it's, it's hugely important to allow free market. Like if, if you're cutting off competition, um, you're sort of, not doing anybody any favors in the sense that competition makes us all better. I would not be thrilled if they were parked in front of my front steps, obviously. Like, I think they has to have some control on where they're, where they're parking. But um, bring it on. <laughs> Huntsville Council is using this summer as a test to see how the ice cream truck will do. Currently, it will only be allowed to park in a parking spot on municipal property for less than two hours. Could this affect local business? Westergarth says yes. But you can't blame the failure of a business solely on competition. I think the best bit of business advice I ever received was if your business is failing, it's your own fault. You have to fix it. It's your responsibility to compete. It's your responsibility to do better than everybody around you. And there's always room for another burger joint if you're the best burger joint. So, you know, like, it, it just, just step up your game. Do what you've got to do to compete. A survival of the fittest and sometimes it's not pleasant but it's the way business is and you have to you have to fight to compete for your market.